Radio Times heralds the arrival of a new BBC drama series. In a colour feature, Peter Barkworth talks about his career and his new role in Late Starter beginning next Friday on BBC One. On the day of his retirement, Professor Brett's private and financial affairs collapse when his wife inexplicably goes missing. I don't understand it, Penny. She's never done anything like that. Never. Professor, it's hard to know what to advise. But I cannot, at the moment, advance you any more money. What's the matter, Professor? A great deal, sir. Brett's change of circumstances puts him out on the streets. And running scared through the corridors of fear is Frank Finlay, the star of In the Secret State, this Sunday on BBC Two. As the ex-head of a secret government department, his suspicions are aroused by a colleague's suicide. What happened isn't your fault, Mrs. Lister. In a way, I know that. He changed so completely. He'd be totally depressed. The Lister report must be handled with the greatest of tact. This department does not exist should not care to read in my morning paper that it does. A poisonous web of manipulation and shady dealing puts more lives in danger and sets Frank Finlay as the Watcher in the Shadows on the cover of the new Radio Times. Newsnight on BBC Two in about ten minutes includes the latest news from Beirut on the car bomb explosion, a look at the miners who recently returned to work, and there's also a profile of the playwright David Hare, whose award-winning film Weatherby opened in London tonight. Well, we've uh, subterranean suspense in the late film here on BBC One, just an hour away, when a group of rangers and VIPs are trapped in underground caverns with a, an esca escaped killer, adding to the imminent danger of a cave-in. That's at 11.20. Before that, the curtain rises for the third act, tracing the life and career of the illustrious actor, Laurence Olivier. seductive man in the world. Well, the man is a chameleon. He has great, great genius. There are no 